Welcome to my channel Psychology Today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD, Autism Spectrum Disorder, is a developmental impairment caused by brain differences. ASD patients frequently struggle with social communication and engagement, as well as confined or repetitive habits or hobbies. People with ASD may also learn, move, or pay attention in various ways. It is crucial to remember that some persons who do not have ASD may exhibit some of these symptoms. However, for persons with ASD, these features can make life extremely difficult, interaction, and social communication skills. People with ASD may struggle with social communication and interpersonal skills. Examples of ASD-related social communication and social interaction characteristics include avoids or does not maintain eye contact, does not respond to name by nine months of age, does not show facial expressions such as happy, sad, angry, and surprised by nine months of age, does not play simple interactive games such as pat a cake by 12 months of age, uses few or no gestures by 12 months of age, for example, does not wave goodbye, for example, shows you an object that they like, does not point to show you something fascinating by the age of 18 months, does not notice when others are wounded or disturbed by the age of 24 months, does not notice other children and join them in play by the age of 36 months, and does not pretend to be someone else, such as a teacher or superhero, during play by the age of 48 months, does not sing, dance, or act for you by the age of 60 months, behaviors or interests that are restricted or repetitive. People with ASD may exhibit unique habits or interests. These habits or interests distinguish ASD from disorders described only by difficulties with social communication and interaction. Additional characteristics. Most persons with ASD have additional traits. These might include delayed language skills, delayed mobility skills, delayed cognitive or learning skills, for example, constipation, out of the ordinary mood or emotional reactions, anxiety, stress, or undue worry. It should be noted that children with ASD may not exhibit all or any of the behaviors given as examples. Autism Spectrum Disorder in Adolescents and Adults As the number of children diagnosed with ASD grows, so does interest in the transition to adolescence and adulthood. Adolescence and young adulthood are fraught with new problems, responsibilities, and possibilities for most young people, including those with ASD. However, evidence indicates that fewer young individuals with ASD have the same chances as their non-ASD classmates. Higher underemployment rates, low participation in post-secondary education, the majority of people continue to live with family or relatives. Few chance for communal or social activities. Nearly 40% spend little or no time with friends. Furthermore, between adolescence and young adulthood, persons with ASD may undergo changes in their ASD symptoms, behaviors, and co-occurring health issues. These alterations can have an impact on their capacity to operate and engage in society. Although there is no universal treatment for autism, all medical disorders have the potential to be treated. Autism Spectrum Disorder Testing and Diagnosis Autism Spectrum Disorder, ASD, is difficult to diagnose since there is no medical test, such as a blood test, to do so. To determine a diagnosis, doctors examine the child's developmental history and behavior. It is critical to diagnose children with ASD as early as possible in order to ensure that they receive the assistance and supports they require to attain their full potential. This procedure consists of numerous phases. Developmental monitoring is an active, continuing practice of watching a kid grow and fostering dialogues about a child's skills and capacities between parents and professionals. Developmental monitoring is watching your kid grow and seeing if he or she reaches the expected developmental milestones or abilities that most children achieve by a given age in areas such as playing, learning, speaking, behaving, and moving. Developmental monitoring can be done by parents, grandparents, 
early childhood education professionals. Screening for Development Developmental screening examines your child's growth and development. The process of developmental screening is more formal than that of developmental monitoring. Treatment methods. Although some therapies require more than one strategy, these treatments may typically be divided into the following categories. Behavioral, developmental, educational, socio-relational, pharmacological, psychological. Behavioral methods. Applied behavior analysis is a well-known behavioral treatment for persons with ASD, ABA. To develop a range of abilities, ABA supports desired behaviors and discourages undesirable actions. Developmental methods concentrate on increasing individual developmental skills, such as linguistic or physical talents, or on a larger spectrum of interrelated developmental abilities. Speech and language therapy is the most prevalent developmental therapy for persons with ASD. Some ASD patients speak vocally. Others may use signs, gestures, photographs, or an electronic communication device to communicate. Occupational therapy imparts skills that allow the individual to live as independently as feasible. Dressing, eating, bathing, and interacting to others are examples of skills. Physical therapy can help improve physical abilities such as small finger motions or greater trunk and body movements. Methodologies of education. In a classroom context, educational therapies are administered. The treatment and education of autistic and related communication handicapped children, TEACC, method is one form of educational strategy. Approaches based on social relationships. Social relational therapies aim to improve social skills and emotional ties. Pharmacological methods. There are no drugs available to address the primary symptoms of ASD. Some drugs address co-occurring symptoms, which can improve the functioning of persons with ASD. Medication, for example, may aid in the management of excessive energy, difficulty to focus, or self-harming behavior such as head pounding or hand biting. Psychological methods. Anxiety, sadness, and other mental health disorders can be helped by psychological methods in persons with ASD. Cognitive behavior therapy, CBT, is a psychological technique that focuses on understanding the relationships between ideas, feelings, and behaviors.